So to solve a cubic equation when we haven't been given any of the roots or factors, we have to use a trial and error. So we're going to guess factors of 6. So we'll start with plus and minus 1, plus or minus 2, and if those don't work, then we can go to plus or minus 3, plus or minus 6. So the first root we're going to try is x equals 1. So we get 1 cubed minus 6 by 1 squared plus 11 times 1 minus 6. I'm going to see if that's equal to 0. So we have 1 minus 6 plus 11 minus 6 equals 0. And that does indeed give us 0. So x equals 1 is a root of this. If 1 hadn't worked, we would have had to go and try minus 1. And then we'd have to try plus 2, then minus 2, until we found a root that works. The factor theorem tells us that if x equals 1 is a root of that cubic equation, then x minus 1 is a factor and it will divide evenly into the cubic expression. So if we try and divide x minus 1 into x cubed minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6, we get x and x cubed goes x squared times. x squared by x gives us x cubed. x squared by minus 1 gives us minus x squared. We draw a line underneath and we subtract the second line from the front first line by changing the signs. So x cubed minus x cubed will cancel. Minus 6x squared plus x squared is minus 5x squared. And then we bring down the other terms. So plus 11x minus 6. x into minus 5x squared goes minus 5x times. Minus 5x by x is minus 5x squared. Minus 5x by minus 1 is plus 5x. We draw a line underneath. And again, we're going to subtract the second line from the first line by changing both the signs. Uh, the first two terms cancel, and then we get 11x minus 5x is 6x, and then we bring down the 6. x into 6x goes plus 6 times. 6 times x is 6x. 6 times minus 1 is minus 6. We draw a line underneath, and again, subtract the second line from the first line by changing the signs. And this time, both uh, terms will cancel, and we get a remainder of 0. And that should have happened because we knew that x minus 1 was a factor of x squared minus 5x plus 6. So x squared minus 5x plus 6 is the other factor. And so if we let that equal 0, we'll be able to find the other two roots. So we have a simple quadratic equation here that we can factorize. So two sets of brackets. And we have an x and an x. And then two numbers that multiply to give 6, we can have 3 and 2. The product of the inner terms is 3x, and the product of the outer terms is 2x. And we need these to combine to give the middle term of the quadratic, which is minus 5x. So to sum these to give minus 5x, they would both need to be minuses. Minus 3x minus 2x is minus 5x, so minus and a minus. Uh, finally, we let each bracket equal 0. Um, so x minus 3 equals 0, and x minus 2 equals 0. Um, which gives us roots of x equals 3 and x equals 2. And so the three roots of this cubic equation are x equals 1 and x equals 3 and x equals 2.